What's up guys, TV Horse Scotch and Things. Hey, sorry about the mess, I've been on the road, haven't had time to clean. I just wanna make a quick video. Um, super excited, I literally just this morning, uh, Palmetto State Armory got some um, uh, AR pistols back in stock. Uh, I've been wanting one for a long time and should have bought one when they were cheaper, a little bit more pricey now, um, but I was able to grip, pick one up and then what happens later today, uh, I see the ATF has issued a cease and desist letter to Q uh, LLC. They make the honey badger and stuff like that, stating that they found the honey badger is no longer considered an AR pistol, but it's an SBR. Um, <clears throat> what's that mean? Uh, <laughs> So Q, I've watched some other videos. There's some other channels, Guns and Gadgets and stuff that do a way better job explaining it. Um, but what's it mean? Uh, Q had sent out, or they've got some information on their website on what to do with the pistols. Basically, you know, you're subject to $10,000 fine, 10-year imprisonment, stuff like that. What's that mean for us guys now with AR pistols? Um, is this leading up because it's got the, the S, SBA brace? S, I think it's SBA three brace. Uh, correct me if I'm, you know, I, mine's got the S, SBA three um, brace coming on it. So, does that mean that AR pistols are next? Probably. Um, does Trump and his administration need to jump on the ATF and get them under control? Probably. Um, kind of, kind of bummed, man. Like, uh, just waiting on shipping notification to my FFL. I was super excited to show you guys. Like I said, I'd wanted one for a long time. Um, but does this mean that, you know, I think, I, I mean, the writing's on the wall. What, what differentiates the, what differentiates the Honey Badger from any other AR pistol? Uh, I, you know, nothing. So... Why did they single that out? I have no idea. Why are they just testing the waters to see if they can go after one before they go after the others? Um, kind of bummed out. Uh, I think we need to contact representatives and and make our voices known. Um, you know, like I said, I I'd wanted one for a long time, um, and I, I held off on it because at first, you know, you couldn't shoulder shoulder uh, an AR pistol with a brace on it uh, and then the ATF made a ruling where you could shoulder it um, and like I said I was all set to get one and then this whole COVID thing and all that broke out in civil unrest and election and as you know firearms ammo gone 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 um, but Palmetto's got a, a really neat um, function uh you know picked out the they've got a thousand different go on their website i mean literally it's they've got just tons of different variations of ar pistols but the one i wanted <clears throat> you know i clicked the email notification notify me when stop in stock um luckily uh, i just happened to be home today where like i said i'm back home from being on the road for work and got you know got notification jumped on let the wife know like hey um you know i'm paying the idiot tax of something that usually costs around 500 dollars. i'm spending 820 dollars on now uh, <laughs> so and then literally later later tonight uh, i saw those videos and i was just like oh god just knowing that that's that's what's going to happen next is they're going to go after all ar pistols it was just like they were just getting their foot in the water. Uh, I don't know why they were picking on on Q and Honey Badger, but um, I think it was just kind of testing the waters to go after all braces. Um, and that, that's one of the appeal of an AR pistol for some people over an SBR is, is the ease, because you can just purchase it like any pistol. Uh, and you don't have to go through the tax stamp and all that stuff and the waiting period which is just a nightmare and a hassle, um, which is, I think, the reason that most guys go with the pistol over the SBR, just because of the headache of 
of all the paperwork and red tape to, to get those things. So um, if you haven't seen it, like I said, check out Legally Armed America and um, Guns and Gadgets. Uh, they do a much better job at explaining it and going over it. These are just my thoughts. I just wanted to make a quick video tonight. It's just really kind of bummed out. Um, and we all know the times we're in and I think it's our, our job to make our voices known uh, to stand up for our rights. So like, share, subscribe, check those guys out, um, do what they say, contact representatives. And um, we need to, <clears throat> we really need to stand up for ourselves because uh, you know, others aren't gonna do it. Uh, it's up to us. So uh, when that gun does get here, I will show it to you. I'm uh, pretty excited for it. Um, heading out uh, in another day to go on the road and hopefully when I get back in another week, it'll be here. Um, let me know, I've heard Palmetto kind of has slow shipping. I've never bought uh, a firearm from them before. I've gotten other, you know, magazines and ammo and stuff for, from them, uh, but never, never a firearm. So hopefully I get the shipping notification pretty soon. So next time I'm home, I can swing into my FFL and pick that up, uh, show it to you guys, shoot it, get some rounds through it, test it out and see how it works. But uh, like I said, super excited, great day because tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, you know, birthday present to myself, and um, and then kind of bummed out on this this ATF news, just knowing what's coming next. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. Check those channels out. Uh, contact representatives, and we need to stand up for ourselves, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.